Welcome to the Hot Mic SE. A recent critic has cast a spotlight on former South African President Jacob Zuma, drawing comparisons between his influence and the tactics allegedly employed by controversial figures like Shepard Bushiri. The remark suggested that Zuma is deceiving many people with a disheartening observation that even the younger generation seems particularly susceptible. While such comparisons might appear provocative, they open up important questions about the nature of political influence and public trust. Criticism of this nature often reflects deeper societal concerns. Jacob Zuma, a figure who has remained a polarizing presence in South African politics, continues to inspire both fierce loyalty and sharp disapproval. The comparison to Bushiri, a self-proclaimed prophet whose practice have sparked controversy, carries significant weight, suggests an underlying belief that charisma and carefully crafted narratives can sway large audiences, sometimes at the expense of critical thinking. The observation about young people being especially gullible adds another layer to the discussion. It raises concerns about how the youth engage with political discourse in an era dominated by social media and fast-moving information. While younger generations are often celebrated for their activism and fresh perspectives, they can also fall prey to misleading narratives when access to reliable information is limited. This critique also invites reflection on the broader implications of leadership in South Africa. The ability of political figures to maintain influence long after their tenure is a testament to the enduring power of personal narratives. However, it also underscores the potential risks of blind allegiance, particularly when it involves figures with controversial pasts. As this discussion unfolds, it remains essential to separate fact from conjecture while fostering open dialogue, understanding why some leaders continue to inspire unwavering support despite widespread criticisms could offer valuable insights into the dynamics of power and influence in contemporary society. What are your thoughts on the comparison of Jacob Zuma and Prophet Bushiri? Thank you all for watching and please don't forget to kindly drop your comments, drop a like and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.